Hey you guys, what's up? My name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. So before we get started on today's video, I just wanted to go ahead and come on here and thank everybody for the love and support on my last video. It was my first video and I was very, very nervous, but after I posted it, I was so happy. Like, people were so sweet, they were so kind, and it made me feel so much better about posting the video. I really didn't think I was going to get that reaction, and I just want to come out here and say thanks. If I haven't already thanked you, I'm thanking you now, and if I already did thank you, thank you, I'm thanking you again, because I was so happy when I posted it. I was nervous out of my mind, but after, I was so happy, like... Everybody was so nice, and I just really want to thank you guys. It really meant the world to me. If you viewed it, you liked it, you commented anything, it was it just made me so happy. So I just really wanted to come on here, and before anything, thank you guys for doing that for me. It was really, really nice of you, and I hope you guys like this video. So for today's video, we're going to be doing my best products of 2018. So these are all products that I love throughout the whole year that I really felt like I just always gravitated towards. So I'm going to be going by category. I am not, I did not include skincare. I did not include brushes in this video because I felt like that would be way too long. So I just went ahead and just included makeup. But if you guys would like to see me do a skincare or anything like that, just let me know. And I love skincare, so I would be very, very happy to do that for you guys. All right, so the first thing we're going to start off with is brows. The first product I want to talk about is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I'm sure everybody has heard about this brow product. It is amazing. I love it. I use the shade Medium Brown. And the reason I like it is because I have very thin eyebrow hair. So the definer, which everybody loves also, is pretty thick. So it doesn't, it doesn't look good on my brows personally. It f makes them look like... I mean, obviously my brows look fake <laughs> because I practically like draw them on. But it looks like, I don't know, it just, just looks weird. And with this one, it's so easy just to like to stroke on like the little hairs. So I love this. I'm actually, I've actually been using this since I was like 18. So I really want to branch out and try something new. I ordered the Bomb Ass Brows by Desi Perkins um, with, that she did with Benefit. So I'm going to go ahead and try that out just to mix it up because I've literally been using this for years and i mean i love it but you, it, it never hurts to like try something new you know it's an amazing palette and it is the jaclyn hill palette by morphe i love this palette it is so good like nobody can deny this palette is good like they really can't like all the colors blend so well they're beautiful there's a huge variety in the palette i reach for this palette all the time i can't lie probably i like bought the palette and i didn't really use it but then I one like a couple months ago I started using it and it is so good. Like the hype is so worth it. The two I use the most are definitely these two. It's baked browns and then sassy siennas. Baked browns is more of like just a brown neutrals, I guess you could say. I mean they're pretty warm, but they're definitely not as warm as the sassy siennas. These are warm warm. This is a beautiful palette. They're both beautiful. I use them all the time. Like, these are definitely the palettes that I use the most. I just think, I don't know, they just blend so well. I think these are definitely better than the Morphe eyeshadows. Um, they're obviously a little bit more expensive than the Morphe eyeshadows, but they're so worth it. Especially if you, like, stick to these colors. Like, I could literally go on a trip and just take these and I would be fine. Um, I do take other palettes because these have no shimmer in them. They just have matte colors but still like they're beautiful and i recommend these a hundred percent if i had to recommend just one I recommend the baked bronze it is so beautiful i love this palette this is probably my favorite palette of 2018. so next we're going to be moving on to primers the first one i want to talk about is um the primer i use like a dewy primer i will usually put this all over my face and the dewy primer is the mac strobe cream in the shade gold light this is such a beautiful primer you can use this you can put it all over your face like i do i use it as my primer or you can put it on the high points of your cheeks when you're not wearing any makeup and you'll look so beautiful also it makes your skin just like glow you can also mix it in with your foundation which i've seen a lot of people do i personally i don't think i've ever tried to do that but i know it 
a lot of people do it and they talk such good things about it i love this strobe cream if you guys haven't tried this strobe cream it's it's awesome like you guys really need to get on it because it will i think it gives your skin such a glow and whenever i do wear this people always tell me my skin looks glowy when i have this primer on and i really do feel like it's just one of those products that people i guess will like try to duplicate but you just can't like you gotta stick to the og and this is definitely a good product recommended a hundred percent and then the next primer which i'm sure everybody knows which one it is it's the tatcha silk canvas primer this primer is expensive it is hella expensive but it is so worth it like i don't think i've ever met somebody that's like i don't like that primer no bitch it is good and it will smooth out your face helps with pores with anything it is an amazing primer and it's so worth the money and i honestly feel like it lasts a long time like i have had this for a minute and um i don't use the scooper it wasted so much product and i really didn't need that much so i would just like put my fingers in it i know totally unsanitary but i just put my fingers in it and i would just go ahead and put it on my t-zone mostly i'm not a really oily person but i just like for that part of my face to look extra extra smooth so these two primers together yeah, oh my god. I was like, is this the right one? These two primers together are amazing and I recommend them a hundred percent. Alright, the next thing I want to talk about are foundations. So the when I really want to look like glammed up and I want like a full coverage look, I will use these two foundations together. It's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and then the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. These two together are so bomb like they look so good on my skin i love them i try other foundations and i just feel like nothing compares to these two mixed together they are so beautiful they give you like the nicest coverage and at the same time your skin doesn't look like cakey and gross you know what i'm saying what so with my uh, luminous silk foundation and the nars i always mix them together and one thing i do add to it are these drops they are the mark jacobs do you drops and they are so beautiful i will add just like one pump to the foundation and mix it all together and then put it all over my face but it is pretty let me see if i can swatch it Ooh, a lot. so here it is so these are the do you drops it is so beautiful it's like a goldy color it's just it's so pretty and it looks so good on your foundation so if you guys ever want to like switch up your foundation or add like a little bit of glow i recommend them a thousand percent it's beautiful and it's definitely worth the money i love those drops i don't like i couldn't imagine doing my makeup like my foundation without them on a glam day not a regular day so this one is going to be no surprise everybody loves this concealer it is a tart shape tape I have used this forever now. It's a beautiful concealer. It doesn't cake. It is super, 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 super full coverage. I use it in the in the shade medium. This concealer is nice. However, it can get thick like real quick. Like you can like, you know, get out of hand with it really fast. So I would definitely use a light hand with it. I wouldn't use this to highlight my face. I feel like that would be a lot, but it is definitely awesome for the under eyes so for setting powders i have two that i love and the first one i'm going to talk about is obviously not like anything new it's laura mercier translucent setting powder i love this for under the eyes so what i usually do is i will grab like whatever beauty sponge i'm using and i will put it under my eyes and then I will grab my second powder that I use. This is what I use to set all over my face. By Charlotte Tilbury. It is the micro powder that's very famous here on YouTube for all the right reasons. It is so beautiful. It makes your skin look flawless. And honestly, I love it. It is it's pretty it's pretty hell expensive. Like I can't even lie. But it's so worth it. Like nothing sets your foundation like this powder. And you can take it with you and you can retouch your face and you're not going to look cakey. That's like the best part about it. The only thing I'm going to say is I don't know if I have a heavy hand, but I haven't had it for that long. And it's like I've already hit pan, but I don't care because I'm going to continue buying it regardless because I love it. It looks a lot more like light in the pan than it actually is because like 
I'm, you know, I'm brown. And I got the shade medium too, and it, I think it fits me fine. I've never had anybody be like, bitch, like, lock up your foundation. Like, it's a different color than your neck. So, I love it, and I think anybody that, I, anybody that tries it will love it too. The only downside about it is they don't have a lot of shades. You would think they would, but I think the shades they do have, like, are pretty how can I say it? like they work with different skin tones you know because I've seen girls that have used the same shade as me and they're totally different colors as me and it looks good so I definitely recommend this a hundred percent it is such a beautiful powder and I don't regret spending the money I did on it two powders together will make my foundation last for like ever and I love them all right moving on to bronzers so my favorite bronzer as you can clearly tell from my last video I like hit pan and I was like scratching at the bottom is by MAC it's one of the bronzing powders and I use the color bronze I love this bronzer I have tried other bronzers and nothing works for my like my skin tone like this bronzer does I I don't know it just looks so good and I love it I feel like it really bronzes my face other bronzers like they can get ashy or orangey real quick and I'm not trying to look like an Oompa Loompa or like someone that's dead. So this is perfect. I have tried other bronzers and I just always come back to this one. If you have a skin tone like mine, I think you would also love it. I don't know if I'm like a neutral undertone, an olive undertone, a yellow undertone. I'm not really sure. But if you have the same undertone as me, this will definitely work for you. It is so beautiful. I recommend it a million so the MAC bronzer, I use it to bronze my face and then the next bronzer I'm going to show you guys, I contour my face is the famous Hoola bronzer by Benefit. I used to be like, oh, this like, what is the big deal about that bronzer? It's probably not even all that. People are gassing it up way too much. But then I started using it and I, because I, I was using this other bronzer too, but I broke it. When I was in Mexico, I broke it. I was getting ready and it just fell on the ground. It just broke everywhere. I was so sad. And my cousin, she was there and she uses this bronzer. So I started using it and I love it. I know a lot of girls use it to um, like bronze their whole face. I can't do that because it will look kind of ashy. But if I just use it to contour, it's so beautiful. This was actually a gift from my friend Jenny. If you're watching Jenny, thank you it was a gift but i never used it because i thought like oh damn like it's gonna look too ashy you know but when i got back from mexico i was like oh shit like jenny got me that so i use it all the time now and i love it thanks jenny so we're gonna be talking about blushes now i have three blushes and i could not pick one of them so i just picked all three of them because why not you know it's my video these three blushes are definitely my favorite i think if you're my skin tone or darker, these will work for you. If you're extremely fair, I don't know if they will. Just because they're more on the orangey brown side. The first one I'm going to be talking about is by Sephora and it is called Hot Flush. I love this bronzer. I know it looks super orange, but that's because it is. I use the lightest hand with this bronzer. You, I barely tap my bl like my brush in there and then I will tap it off and then like scroll it onto my cheeks. This was recommended by Miriam Diaz on, um, well, she has a YouTube channel, but she doesn't post that much. But she is on Instagram a lot. And I just love it. Like, I'm so glad I got it. It's definitely one of my favorite blushes. The next two blushes are by MAC. And the next one I'm going to be talking about is called Peaches. Out of all the blushes I own, this is probably my favorite. I love this blush. It is so beautiful. And it looks so, so, so good on girls. Like, of my complexion. Maybe a little lighter. Me darker, you know. It looks so good. I love it. I love it. It just gives, like, the beautifulest, like, flush all over your cheeks. And it really just makes you look like you're glowing. I hope anybody that if you're gonna get anything out of this whole video i recommend this i'm gonna love it um the other day my friend told me that she um got it like i love when girls like purchase the same products that i have and then like we just happen to talk about them and they tell me they love them just as much as i do it makes me so excited i should definitely go out and get it it's called peaches by mac it is bomb.com and i'm pretty sure if you can wear this if you're pretty fair because i've seen some pretty white girls wear this and it looks just as good as them so peaches by mac 
And the next one I'm going to be talking about is actually the blush I have on today. It is called Sun Bask by MAC. It is, it is such a pretty blush. It is more of like a... It's like more of like a bronzy blush. I've seen all different skin tones wear this blush. It's super pretty and it's it's like something you would wear when you're trying to do like a bronzy look, you know? It's just the most beautiful blush ever and well not ever because peaches is prettier. But I definitely like this one too. Highlights. Highlights, 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 highlights. I feel like that's what 2018 has been about. Everybody loves highlights. I like highlighters too. But like to a certain extent, I don't like like a whole lot of highlighter. But these two, I feel like they give such a good, like a good enough glow. And I've seen girls like use these like a lot. Like they like pack it on and it looks really, really good. So you can use them like both ways, you know. So I have two highlighters that I really, really like. One of them is when I'm not like, one of them is for like the winter. And then one of them is for the summer when I get a little tanner. So the winter highlighter I use is by Anastasia. It is the one Amrezy came out with. I love this highlighter. I definitely lean towards gold highlighters. I don't like the white ones because I look ashy. So this one is so beautiful. But I've seen very fair girls wear this too and it looks just as beautiful. I think anybody that tries this highlighter is going to love it. I use this all the time. It is definitely... Okay, I definitely like this highlighter more than the other one just because it gives like such like a natural glow and it isn't like you can build it up so it looks like you have like a light bulb on your face but you can also give like your face just like one little swoop and it looks good. So definitely recommend this one a million percent. Anybody will look good in this highlighter, I feel. And if you don't, I'm sorry. So the next highlighter I wear when I'm a little darker, I love to wear it in the summer, it's by Dose of Colors and it is called Mirame. It is the one Desi and Katie came out with and it looks really good on my skin like when obviously in the summer. If I try to put it on now, it might look a little like a little brownish but in the summer it looks bomb. I love this highlighter. It's like, I don't know if you guys can see it. More of a peachy. I hope you guys can see that. I'm sure you can. Definitely in the summer, this is Mashes. I love it. Love it. So for preparing my lips for like a matte lipstick or any kind of lipstick at all, even if it's glossy, I like to exfoliate my lips. And I always, like I literally always forget to do it in the shower. I always forget. But my friend friend myra got me this for my birthday this year and it's like an exfoliating lipstick and i never thought anything of it until like as i said i always always forget to exfoliate my lips in the shower so when i'm sitting here doing my makeup the last thing i want to do is get up and go exfoliate my lips like i know it's not that far i know it's the real problems but i literally hate getting up when i'm doing my makeup like i just want to chill like i always forget to um wet my um beauty sponge too and that's the fucking worst too but this has saved my life like literally it's like a lipstick and you just exfoliate your lips like sitting here like i exfoliate the hell out of them like i get in there like get all that skin off and it's like pretty pretty rough so it will get all the dead skin off and then you can just grab like a makeup wipe and just clear it off and put some lip balm and you're ready to go so this is definitely amazing it's by elf and it is in the sh i guess the shade cherry tart and it is amazing i love it i recommend this 100 percent this is like this little thing has like changed the game for me like i may i get so happy when i'm like oh yeah i don't have to get up because like i have this you know and i can just explain my lips because nobody's trying to put a liquid lip on top of crusty ass lips or lip gloss like don't do it don't do it i know you're probably like oh i'm gonna wear i'm gonna put a gloss on top of it nobody's gonna know his bitch yes they will notice i notice and you don't it, like a lip gloss and lipstick doesn't look as good unless you exfoliate your lips i promise exfoliating your lips will change the game 100 percent. so for lip liners i have two and they're both nudes because like i'm a nude biatch i wear mostly nudes i'll wear like colored lipstick but not really. I think when I was younger, when I first started getting into makeup, I'm like, yeah, heroin by MAC and like all these crazy ass colors. But now I'm pretty like, I stick to the neutrals, you know? So for the two I use all the time are 
these are like quote favorites it's stripped down by mac and then boldly bare by mac also these i use the strip down when i'm going to do like a nude that's what i have on today and then when i'm trying to do like a pinkier nude which i don't do that very often because i said your bitch can get ashy real quick is boldy bear by mac also so the thing about this these pencils are they're good i love them like the colors are good they are good but the formula is so dry like oh my god but regardless i'm gonna keep using them because i love the color I think they'll look good on a lot of different skin tones. I have four lipsticks I want to talk about. The first one I'm going to talk about is probably like my favorite. My everyday, if I did have to wear lipstick every day, it would definitely be this one because it's so comfortable. The color is so just pretty. Like it's like your lips felt better. Velvet Teddy by MAC. And it is so pretty. It is just... Like <laughs> I left it in the car. So it like melted or whatever. So that's what it looks like. Right here, I'll swatch it for y'all. I'm not very good at swatching, but. Oh, no, bitch. <sighs> I can't swatch it. It's the color I have on my lips. I tried and it like literally almost broke up off. So we're not doing. <gasps> we're not gonna do that. No. Get back down. We're not gonna do that. I think I have another one around here. Yeah, I should show this one instead, huh? It is Velvet Teddy by MAC, and it is so pretty. I love this color. It looks so good. One of them is a warmer pink, and one of them is a cooler pink. And the one warmer one is Autumn by Kylie Cosmetics. It's a liquid lip, and I love this lipstick. Let's watch it for you. And it is so pretty. I like it because you can definitely tell it's a pink when I put it on. And the next pink I want to talk about, it's definitely a cooler pink. It's not as warm as the Kylie one. And it is this one by Fenty Beauty. It is called Uncuffed. It is such a beautiful pink also. And here I'll go ahead and swatch it right next to it so you guys can see it. It's not like cool tone, like cool tone, but it's definitely on the mauve -ier side it's not cool tone like stone by dose of colors if you guys are like familiar with them it's not like that so this is it it's on this side and then this is kristen over no this is autumn over here and then this is uncuffed by fenty beauty but with me i don't really care if my liquid lipstick comes off i know some girls are like oh my god it came off like how dare it that's not me like i don't have a problem i'll just like put it back on like no me gusta ahogarme en un vaso de agua, you know, like, that doesn't bother me. If the color's bomb, if it feels good, like, I'm good. I actually had four liquid li I actually had four lipsticks that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I know I said three, but the last two are more, like, you know, like, I guess, like, crazy colors. <laughs> to talk about is called Uncensored by Fenty Beauty. This red is so beautiful. It looks so good on so many different skin tones. I recommend this to any girl. And it's just, it's like a real red. It's not like an orangey red. It's, I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys. It's just so beautiful. And especially for this like season, it just, oh, it's so pretty. And what I like about it, it's like one swipe and you're good. I also love the applicators on these. They're, it's just so easy to like line your lips. You don't even need a lip liner. And the next one I want to talk about is a kind of weird color, I guess you could say. It is called Pumpkin by Kylie Cosmetics. It is a very pretty orange. <laughs> it's kind of weird to say. It's like a burnt orange almost. It's so pretty and it looks so good. Especially if you wear a lot of warm tones, you guys will definitely love this. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about are glosses. I feel like this year glosses made a comeback. Like, I felt 2017 was like all about the matte lip. So many different glosses came out on the market, but I have three that are my all-time favorite. So the first one is by Fenty Beauty, it is the Fenty Glow Gloss. This gloss is definitely more of like a rosy color, but it's so beautiful. It has little specks of gold in it and like shimmer. It's it's such a pretty gloss. It looks so beautiful all without any lip liner at all. I love it. This next one, without a lip liner, I don't, I won't wear this. I feel like the glitter in it gets like, I don't know, like weird. Like I don't, I'm not a fan. But with a lip liner on or a lipstick under, it looks so good. And it is the Dose of Colors Over the Top, a lip gloss, obviously, with gold glitter in it, and it is so good. I'm sure everybody has heard about this gloss. 
for the right reasons it is bomb this is more of a clear gloss so you definitely i don't think you're going to be able to see the swatch but i swatched it for you guys anyways and it is right next to it, it is right here i don't know if you guys can see it hopefully you can sorry i'm not the best swatcher <sighs> i got in my hair and then the next gloss i really enjoy is by Marc Jacobs. It is it is one of the high shine lip lacquers and it is called Pretty Thing. Peachy Nude Gloss. And it is so beautiful. I love this color. I will wear this color like over lipstick. I also don't really wear this without, without anything because I feel like I have to put like a neutral or like a nude under that goes with my skin tone for this gloss to look good. If I just put it over my lips, it starts looking like I sucked on donuts. And it's this one right here. Oh my god, I suck. It's right over here. I don't know if you can see it. It's right over here. And it is such a beautiful, just shiny. It looks like your lips are like wet. Like wet, wet. Like Chris Jenner lip gloss wet. <laughs> Alright guys, so that was it for my 2018 favorites. I hope you guys found something that you guys were interested in. You know, I recommend all this stuff. I love it. Everything I talked about is so good. I do hope you guys find something that you guys like. And if you guys do go out and buy it, I would love if you guys would let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys liked it and I will see you next time.